welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Alicia, if this is your first time here. And if not, welcome back. All right, so let's do a really quick round robin. Let's just get it over with. Um, my unit, you guys have seen it before. I just recently posted a get ready with me. Um, you've seen it before, it's a free dress Valentino wig. I'll pop up the link up here. This is actually the second one in that unit because I've posted that quite a while ago, synthetic, right? So I had to order a new one. The good thing is it's available on Amazon, two day prime, two day shipping clutch. So I'll make sure that I link and I think Amazon is like the same price. I'll link the Amazon um, link below because it's just it's just easier. Um, my lip is in Milani in Devotion. You guys know that. And then I did this makeup look in the recently Get Ready With Me. I just had a different lippy on. So make sure you check out that. Um, what else? That's it. Let's get into the video. Oh, my glasses. They're from CI Wear. Hella over expensive. It just... I'll link them if you want. I don't even know if I can link them. I don't even know. They're from C I Wear S E E. I don't even know the name. They're just blue light glasses. They cost a ton of money. If I did not have FSA credit, I would not have got them. So let's get into the video. All right. So sorry, I'm still drinking my coffee. Um, I posted a video a couple years back on my favorite jeans for curvy for like my curvy figure and I'm a, not sure if like YouTube has been circulating it around more recently but I've gotten a lot of hey sis that link isn't available hey sis that link is available and I'm like it was two years ago <laughs> of course it's not gonna be available so I figured it was time for me to do an updated video some of the jeans in there I still have on I still wear but I have been able to get a lot of like different kind of jeans different brands so and bringing to you, I think, like five or six different jeans, all from different brands. And then how I shop that brand. Do I shop my size? Do I go up and get it tailored? Is there a certain fit or is there a certain, um, like, uh, not fit, but like style or shape that I go for? We're going to do all that in this video. Also, because husband is not here, we're going to move this into the living room so you guys can get a bigger version of it. Um, as far as the tea, I'm going to have on the same white tea so you guys can get the same effect. This is a white crop top that I got from Misguided. I will link that below if you guys want to check that out. Um, but it's gonna be very casual. Like I have my makeup on because I just got through shooting, but we're gonna be very casual, no shoes. I just really want it to be all about the jeans so you guys can see it. For reference, I am five, four and a half, and I actually did get on the scale. So I'm exactly 168.4 pounds as of this morning. Um, so I teeter anywhere between an eight and a 10, depending on health, sometimes even a 12, but we'll get into that depending on the brand. So let me quit talking. Let's quit the chit chat. I'm going to grab my iced coffee and I'm going to meet you guys in the living room. All right. First things first, we're going to start with the brand Zara. So everyone knows Zara. They're the thing. <laughs> um, so the thing about Zara is I either go two ways. So let me sit my coffee down. So the first thing I do is I either go the paperback pants. These are the paperback pants. I'm not really sure why they call it that. They're high-waisted, gives a lot of like room up here. And then I think they call it the hot paperback is because this is supposed to be loose. <laughs> like I wish maybe I can find a picture of the model, but it's supposed to be loose in this area. And so that's why on the paperback, I can get my normal size eight because this, while this is supposed to be loose, it's still like big enough to fit my thigh. So as you can tell, it's not loose on me. It's definitely um, fitted. It's not overly tight, but it's definitely fitted, but I'm able to wear my size also because there is a, a lot of stretch in the paperback up here. Um, I'm able to get my size and be comfortable. So these are a pair of paperback pants that I got from Zara. I don't know if I'll be able to get this exact same link because I think this wash might be sold out, but I'll definitely be able to link you guys to a couple of their paperback type pants. And then I like it. They kind of hit a little um, like right above the ankle. I like them. I don't, I haven't been really into like pants hitting all the way at the feet. I kind of want them um, a little bit above the ankle. One to show off my lovely um, ankle braces, but then just to be a little cute and comfortable. Now, the other pants that I wear as are, if I do get another pair of pants that are not like elastic up here, I have to go up several sizes. I have to go up to a size 12 
in Zara um, to be able to fit in the waist and then I have to get them tailored. So because of that reason, I really don't like shopping their regular price um, jeans, but if they do have a sale, they just had one a few weeks ago, they did have some pants that were on sale. So I was able to get a 12 and I'll just take, take them to get them tailored. It costs for me anywhere between like 12 to $15 to get my pants tailored. So that is how I shop at Zara for jeans. I either get the paper bag or if I'm just getting regular jeans, um, they're always going to be high waist. I don't do anything low waisted. Like that was my twenties. She came, she conquered, she's over it. We're high wasting it up here. Um, so if it's not paperback, then I normally have to get like a size 12 um, in the jeans and then get them tailored. Same thing for the shorts. They have really good denim shorts. I'll pop up a picture that I just posted on Instagram. Those are the Zara shorts. I got them in a size 12 and then I did have to get them, like I said, tailored um, to fit my my waist. So I get them big for the weight, for the thighs and then tailor them for the waist. So that is these jeans from Zara. All right, next up we have a pair of <laughs> pants that I have been like obsessing because it feels like, like what Billy? Um, these are actually a pair of pants that I got from Target. And in my defense, I actually got these in a six. So I got these like pre-COVID when I was still in like a six and then COVID happened and now we're like in an eight. But I refuse to go buy an eight because I know I'm gonna eventually get back in a six. <laughs> I'll see how that to say. Here we are. So these are a pair of high-waisted pants. They are by the brand Universal Standard um, that I got at Target. Love them. They are high waist. They suck in the gut. They kind of elongate, give you a little bit of tushy back there. Now down here, I kept that. I kept this for a reason. This is how they normally come. This is how I wear them, which I basically just tuck the seam and then roll and then roll and they kind of stay like that because they're jeans they stay like that for probably for most of the day um so that's normally how i wear them because to me this side just looks a little oh to me this looks a little more chic and a little bit more polished so that's kind of how like i roll them even though they're shorter um I, I like the rolled look the rolled and the cuff look so that's what i have been wearing um i don't know if they have these exact same jeans online so what i will do is i will go online check and see if they do if they don't i will give you the name the brand and the style number because i did buy these while i was in the app um and so you're welcome to like check your local store or eventually they'll have them online again but these are just really good even though they're tight i still feel like they're comfortable so they're not quite like jeggings they definitely feel like jeans but i feel like they have a little bit more like spandex in them so i'm able to still get in them even though i shouldn't be looking at a six right now and they fit so this is what i have been like obsessed with i think i wear these jeans like once a week maybe because i don't know if it's because they're really comfortable or if i'm just testing to make sure that they fit because before like january february these jeans did not fit okay not even gonna lie they didn't fit i'm like whoo but that's when i was like seriously probably sitting at a 10. um and i was like all right alicia listen we gotta get things under control we gotta get them together and so the working out the eating right the rate watchers the fasting all the things <laughs> working because I've been in them successfully and I feel like every time I get in them, they're like more and more comfortable to get in. Like I'm not having to like jump out the damn gym to get in them. It's more like a hop right now. So I'm hopping to get in them. Hopefully it'll just be like a, like a stretch. So I love them. I'm obsessed with them. They're less than 30 bucks and they're target. I mean, like it's giving, it's giving what it needs to give. It's giving bodice with no shapewear. Like I took my shapewear off. I'm here for it. Okay. Let's move to the next jean. All right, I don't have a black option to give you only because the one black jeans that I've been obsessed with, like obsessed with, I got from TJ Maxx and I even tried to look up the brand and they don't have an online option. So back to the drawing board on the black jeans because I hate to give you guys like similar items and I've never actually tried those jeans. So um, I am gonna do this probably every few months just because I just do I get a lot of like questions about like why my jeans fit and how my jeans fit so anyway I'm giving you guys a colored option so these are a pair of green pants that I got from anthropology because let's just take a moment to appreciate the beautiness that is anthropology 
they have some good clothes anyway so these are a pair of green pants that i got from them it's just the buttery softness in these jeans is just it's just unmatched high-waisted tucks in the fupa elongates the tush has all the details here i think that's what i like i like all of the like lining details from like the way the pockets here i've got a pocket here um pockets over here i even have some pockets in the back i just like it you guys know i've been on like a green tip lately i'm probably gonna do a what i wore this week all green edition sometime in august so these jeans are definitely going to be making the rotation <laughs> in there these are one of the pricier like as we're going into the video we're getting a little bit like pricier so these are a little bit of the pricier jeans but they're definitely really 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 good quality um i have a lot of jeans i'm not even gonna lie i have like at least 50 pair of jeans and i'm not I'm not ashamed to say it i'm living in my truth um but i don't have a, like a lot of colored jeans i really just like different variations of blue like different washes um and i don't have a lot of like black or colored and so when i saw these i'm like mm, i already have a pair of green jeans which one's going to get the most use needless to say i just put the other ones in the goodwill because these definitely get more use just because they're just like they're just like so soft and then once again that's how they normally come and then so normal and then that's how i have them cuffs you can kind of see that cuff like that and so this is kind of like how i wear them but i love them high waist does all the things all right saving the best for last this is the second to the last um before we get into that i i mean i it took me a little to get used to it but now i appreciate it but i how do i say this and not how do I put the professional hat on? I like how it's about damn time for one, but where brands saw that there was a drastic hole in jeans for people who are not stick figures and who actually have hips and thighs and this whole one shape jean just wasn't working. So with all that being said, you see a lot of brands, American Eagle, Abercrombie & Fitch, Old Navy, Madewell. Like, I'm pretty sure you name the brand and they have came out with a curvy line, which basically is should just be like a line because every woman has some form of curves. But now you're realizing that all curves are created differently, right? So... With all that being said, these are American Eagle. They're from their curvy collection. I like them because I didn't have to do any like getting them tailored or anything like that. I am wearing a size eight. These are the high-waisted jeans. There is a little um, bit of a stretch here, but not so much where I have to wear a belt. Um, we are sucking in the jean. The zipper is doing its thing. We don't have a lot of fupa going on here. I love the way it kind of still gives you a little bit of shape in the back. And then I like the way that they sit. Another thing that I like about these jeans is that even though they have this distress, they have this over here. So it's not like this big portion of my thigh is out. So when I saw those, I did like them. I don't know if they still have them in this wash as in like this without showing the distress. I'm pretty sure the distress is like in now so i'm pretty sure they still have it but i do like their whole curvy collection like i said i was able to get an eight i can't vouch for any of their jeans that are not in the curvy collection because that's honestly the only thing i've been going to and targeted towards lately um are jeans that are like curvy style um or they have stretch so like the ones from Zara, even though they're not curvy, I go for the ones that have a lot of stretch. The one from Target, it had, I think it was like a mom jean. So I think they're calling like mom jeans and curvy. I don't know what it is. But anyway, I, I'm i not going for the like straight or like the skinny fit. We don't like skinny. We just, no. <laughs> so anyway, these are a pair, like I said, a pair of high waisted jeans that I got from American Eagle and they are in their curvy collection and I'm able to get my normal size, which is a size eight for now. Okay, let's move to the last pair of jeans, which is probably my favorite, my favorite brand, like of all time so far. And this, it's not because I've worked with them before. I mean, I have, but working with them, um, I did a collaboration with them let me just change the jean. I'll be back. All right. So like I said, I'm saving the best brand for last. So let's go down memory lane, shall we? 
um, <laughs> early in my influencing career when I had decided that I didn't want to just be a natural hair influencer. I wanted to do a little bit of everything. Um, this was the first company that reached out to me. This was in 2000 and 18 or maybe even 17 no 18 when they were coming out with a curvy collection and they said we think you would be a good fit and i was like floored so they literally sent me every single jean in the wash and i was like obsessed and i have been buying from them every since that's the prime example of the influencer have been influenced so every time they come out with like a new wash i buy immediately this is abercrombie i know what you're thinking right Okay, because I remember the Abercrombie I grew up in. I remember the high school Abercrombie. I, she, me, her, we were not in that store. And you know what I mean? This melanin was not in that store. I, I, I literally walked right past it when I would go shopping because it just wasn't, the jeans were not for us. And I can say that. Here we are years later, they decided to make jeans for the curves and I'm here for it. I've been obsessed ever since. This is a curvy love collection. I can wear an eight with no problem. I love the way it cinches. It literally sucks things in. I look what it's doing for the tush in the back. It's just giving what jeans needed to be gave. I love that it doesn't have a ton of, a, of spandex in it. I wanna say it's maybe like one to 2%, but I like that as you wear them, the more they like fit and conform to your body and that's what i've been obsessed with the only other thing is that they do have them sh in shorts but in shorts i do go up to a 10 and get the tailored because you guys know i really don't like tight stuff like tight shorts um so the shorts i probably could do an eight because i did try on an eight at the store but then i also turned around and tried on the 10 and the 10 which is it felt a lot more comfortable just only because i when i'm doing this i.e. walking, I don't need my shorts to ride with me. And the eights, I felt were gonna ride, especially in the inner thigh area. So the tens felt like I could do, like I literally will try on shorts and I'll do this in the fitting room for like 30 seconds. And if you're riding, you're gonna go on this, you're gonna go back on the rack. So I did this to the tens and didn't feel like it was gonna ride. And sure enough, the tens did not ride. I did have to get them tailored, but because they weren't like a ton of tailoring, it didn't cost that much. I wanna say it's, it was only like 10 bucks. So Abercrombie, love them. I have them in all of the washes. I literally have them in a lot. I don't have it in a black. I don't know what it is with me and black jeans. Like I have a single pair of black jeans, the ones that I was telling you guys about that I can't mention because there's no link and I don't want you guys to be mad at me. Um, but other than that, I really just like different types of washes in blue. So I have this jean and so many washes. It's just so much goodness. Now I haven't shopped at anything else. Although I heard Abercrombie, their bodies, which are like really good. So next time there's a sale, I probably will check them out. But yeah, I'm gonna quit rambling. I see all that to say, save the best for last. Abercrombie has the best jeans. Shop the curvy section because I can't vouch for anything else. All right, guys, we have reached the end of this video in good timing because I feel like it's about to come down outside. Like it's trees are blowing and everything. So I'm gonna sit my little self down and ask William where he is because I don't like to ride the storms out by myself. Am I the only one? Like. I can't be at home solo dolo with storms. Anyway, if you have reached the end of this video, guys, and you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Also, did you guys hear that thunder? You heard that, right? Um, also, while you're here, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the things the other YouTubers tell you to do. Stay safe, and I'm going to catch you later. Bye.